Hi, I'm Maggie from Maggie'sCrochet.com and in this video I'm going to show you a version of the basket weave stitch. It's a gorgeous stitch. I've seen it in sweaters. I've seen it in um, all kinds of... I, there's a book that we have on the website that's actually an out of print book and it's got one of the cutest little bear sweaters made out of this stitch that I've ever seen. It's just adorable. And um, there are different variations of this one, of the stitch. This one has four bars um, alternating across and some have three and some maybe have five. I know there's different uh, variations of it. But in this video I'm going to show you this pattern and the link to this pattern will be in the description right below this video. And you can also look for it on bestfreecrochet.com and it's number 290 and it's called Basket Weave Crochet Dishcloth. So let me get started. Um, I'm using a cream color so that you can see it the best. And you start with a slip knot and I've got a video on how to do a slip knot. But basically you start with a loop. The top strand goes across the back so it's like a pretzel and then you pull that back loop forward. And then you tighten up the knot side of that, slide it onto your hook, and then adjust it so that it's like this on your hook. So for this sample, I am going to chain 26. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. It's always nice when you get past the foundation chain. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Okay, even if you're a super experienced crocheter, you still, like, the foundation chain is still kind of annoying. Because it just, you don't have anything to hold on to and it's, the start is always a little complicated. Okay, now it says the directions say to chain 26 and double crochet in the fourth chain from hook. So this is the first, second, third, and fourth chain. So I'm going to yarn over and I'm going, I'm just going to go on the top loop. There's different ways to work in the foundation chain, but for speed, I'm just going to work a double in the fourth chain from hook. And then it says, and in each chain across. And then it reminds you that the skip chain counts as one double crochet. So let me go ahead and double across. And I'm going to go fast because I do have a video on how to do a double crochet. So I just need to get to the part where I'm showing you the basket stitch. And I think there's four repeat rows here. So I will land up with 24 double crochets at the end. Oh, my yarn's getting tangled coming out of the middle. It comes out nicer when it's been used up a little bit. Okay, so now I have row one complete after this one stitch. And I have this one pulled. So you don't want to let, if, if only part of your uh, loop came through, part of your strand, you want to go back and make sure that the whole thing's on there because that'll make a really weak spot in your piece. So I got that fixed. So now it says chain three turn counts as first double crochet now and throughout. So there's the chain three. And then it says turn. Then it says front post double crochet in next three double crochet. So I'm not working in this one 
because my chain three is counting for the double crochet over the first double crochet. So to do a front post double crochet, you're gonna yarn over. Instead of going through the top of the stitch, you're gonna go around the stitch. So you're gonna go from this side, through the, you know, from the front to the back, and then back out the other side like that. And then you're gonna yarn over when your hook's on the other side there, and draw that through, and then complete your double. So you yarn over, draw through two, and yarn over and draw through two. So I need to do that um, twice more, because it said go front post in the next three. So it's the same as a double, except I'm working it around the post of that double. That's what they call it, the post. So sometimes they call these front post, that's why they call them front post double crochets, or they'll call them other things too. I can't think of what they are right now, but they do. They call them different things. But anyway, there's the three. See how cool that looks? It raised it up. Oh, how awesome. Okay, now uh, around the three and then back post around the next four. So back post is instead of going from here, I got to go around the back. So I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to put my hook right to the back side of that row and I'm basically doing the same thing I did in the front except I'm kind of doing it backwards. So I'm going from this side to that side and I'm going to pick up my yarn and draw that up and then finish my double crochet like that. So that is a back post double crochet and if you look on the back side it looks like the front side except you did it kind of backwards from the other side. So I'll show you that again and again. So yarn over and this one was worked in so you want to go to the next one which is this one and I'm going to insert my hook around that post and I'm going to yarn over, bring that up. Now I'm on the right side here. I'm going to draw through two, yarn over and draw through two. So that's my second one. This is how it makes it look so textured. So that one's complete. Now I'm going to yarn over and I need to work in this one right here but I'm going to go around the back of it and my hook is going to go from this side out that side, yarn over, draw a loop up, yarn over, draw through two and draw through two. So I'm going to go back here, put my hook from that side to that side, yarn over, draw that loop up, up, draw through two, yarn over, draw through two. Okay, there. So this starting one counts as one, so I've got a group of four and a group of four. Now it says to front post and then back post across. So I'm going to do the four front and four back all the way across. So now I'm coming to this side and I'm going to do a double around that post. Now I'm going to, these have to be done from the back, so I'm going to go around the back like this. So I just worked in that one, I'm going to go in this one. Okay, there's the back, and then the front. Then I'm going to end with the back. Once you get the hang of this, it's not that bad. Now, my last stitch is the chain three, but I'm going to treat it as if it's a regular double crochet. And I'm just going to work around the post of the chain as if it were a double crochet stitch. 
there. Okay, that completes round row two. So see how it's starting to look like a basket weave already? It's really pretty. Now the big surprise is when you turn it over, it looks the same except it's those are the back post double crochets that I did from the others from the right side or from the other side. Isn't that nice? Okay, so that ends row two. Now I need to do row three, which is chain three and turn. And it says to front post double crochet in the front post. So or in the back post, right? Pretty sure that's how you do it. Yeah, see how they got the, that long? Okay, so I've got four. So now I'm gonna go back here. Basically, it's front post around the front post and back post around the back post from the previous row. I haven't done this stitch in a long time. It'd be really cute to do a scarf or a hat with this. Even a rug, a little kitchen set. Okay, back to the front. So I'm alternating four front, four back, four front. Okay, so there's that. Now I just need four back. And again, I'm gonna back post around the last chain three turn loop. Okay, so there is row three completed. Now row four, chain three turn, and it says back post around next three double crochets. So now in the previous row we front I did a front post in the front post. Now it's gonna this is where it's gonna start to change because now I'm gonna do a back post around a front post. So I'm gonna go just work it in the back on the wrong side and work a double crochet. Like this. Okay, so there I've got the back post on a front post. So now I'm going to do a front post on the back post. So this makes it alternate because right here you can see I have this tall front post group here and then it alternates with the back post group that is right here. Those are the bars here and because those are the back posts that are on the opposite side and then I've got the next set of front post but now we're switching it to back post here and if you look all the way up the rows you see it just alternates with groups of four and you've got front post here I'm off camera here front post here back post stitches here front post here um, back front and it just alternates back and forth and then it, it, it alternates in the rows like you can see the rows of the posts going up. So that's what makes it look like the basket weave. So now I'm working front post around the back post. But in the directions it just tells you to work front post around the double crochet. Okay, so there's my front post. So now these front post stitches I'm going to work back post around them. This is row four. I'm 
Okay, now I'm back to working a front post around the next group of four. I'm going to do another video that shows you the basic uh, front post and back post also. So I'm behind it back here. I'm putting my hook from that side to that side, yarn over, draw that through, and then finish my double. And that's creating a front post on the opposite side. And then back to front post. And then this is the the um, turning chain. So I just do the same thing, whatever I did to these three stitches, I'm going to do to my turning chain. Okay, so I'm chain three turn. And this is the last row of the repeat. So now it says for row five to chain three turn and um, See, these are in the front here, front post, but these are kind of like in the back, so you're going to continue that and do another back there, back post. And then a front post, four front posts. Now I'm doing the back post. Okay, so there you go. So that's how you do the basket weave stitch. It's a pattern, um, it's a repeat of four pattern rows. And you can make um, rugs and scarves and this will make an adorable purse. And um, I always think of all these designs I can make from beautiful stitches like this. But that's how you do the basket weave stitch and again this is number 290 and it's available at bestfreecrochet.com and you can just search basket weave or it was posted on October 17, 2011 and there will definitely be a link underneath the, um, the video on YouTube and I hope that you subscribe to our channel because as soon as we have new videos come out you'll know about them. You'll be the first to know. So I want to thank you very much for watching and I hope that you shop with us at maggiescrochet.com. Thank you.